Okay, guys, I'm going to do this one more time here. We're going to go over the lessons from yesterday. Um, this is my shot here. And the rendering for this is down here. I think it's a good shot. So that's what I did. I converted the drywall to stone on this side and wood on this side. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Carpet on the floor. And so I changed it even the Corbu chairs to carpet just for fun. Okay, so what I want to do is um, get out of this shot, go to my level one. Look at my floor plan, and because I've already done this, I'm gonna I'm gonna change these uh, walls to its original, which is brick on metal stud, and this one as well. All right, metal stud done. Okay, so what I want to do is I mentioned before I want to change uh, the parameters of this wall. Okay, it's very precise. So what I want to do is I want to get into edit type, and as you guys know, we will duplicate at all times when we want to change things. Right, metal stud. And I'm going to call this stone, okay, just for now, stone wall, underscore AB, that's me. Okay, so I know that I've done this. And now I'm just going to quickly go into edit. You guys know this is the outside and it works its way in. Plywood, metal stud, vapor barrier, all the way to gypsum. Notice here it's just a rectangle it, within this slot. This cell basically is the word gypsum, but if you click on it once, and this little icon kicks in, and I have no idea why Revit makes this so difficult, or is it so simple, really? I'm not sure. So I'm going to click on this once, and all of a sudden, another menu opens up, because I want to change the gypsum, right? Initially, when you open this up, you'll see something like this, right? So here we go. I'm going to try to resize everything here for now to make this simpler. Okay, so click on this icon here, and all of a sudden, these little babies come up. Okay, it looks good. It's um, in the past. I was looking for um, the cultured stone that used to be on their stone, non-existent this time around. And I tried even concrete. Obviously, it wouldn't be there. But we'll go to masonry, and this is the closest one right now. Stone, natural. Okay, so I need notice that the apply hasn't kicked in here yet. So I may have to do something like this. this yes. Uh oh. Keep both. Okay. Cool. So I clicked it and boom it's here and it's got an arrow saying maybe it's connected to your work and there it is. As soon as I see the icon change from gray I'm gonna press apply and of course 10 steps later we go OK again and we say OK again here and one more time really let's do one more OK great that was done and this time I'm gonna change this to again I'm gonna change this one to hardwood wood like a wooden wall okay Sorry, wooden facade, it's the old uh, basement techniques and retro look. Okay, so let's go to duplicate again, and, ex and next to the stud, I'm going to put uh, wood uh, underscore AB, because I know I did this. All right, cool. Okay, so again, as before, edit, go all the way down, gypsum, right? Oh, I clicked it, little, little, little button appears. Great, I'm glad that I discovered this. And now at this point, I'm going to change the drywall to wood framing. Uh, keep both. Okay, so there it is. Appearance. Boom. It's there. Love it. That looks. That's going to look pretty cool. Okay, it's going to make the room really warm. It's that um, feel where you're going to boutique hotel. So apply worked. I'm going to press OK. Over here, OK as well. One more OK. This is really annoying, but that's just how it is. Let's go to view. Go to camera. And this time we'll take a new shot of the same corner. Okay. And this time I'm going to, uh, this part doesn't matter here right now, just keep it shaded. And what I'll do, go into the render icon, the teapot, and just do it on low. Uh, set it up as low, make sure you change the exterior to sun and artificial, if you like, okay. I've, I have some lights here, I'm not proud of this one here. But for now, um, I'll just press render, okay. And I could pause, and then come back in a second. Actually, it shouldn't be that long because it's on uh, going Okay, I'm going to resume now. Notice the shot is there. Um, what you normally want to do is, like, when you have a shot like this, guys, you want to save it to project, okay? And then name it at this point. Let's just say corner. Yes, of course, corner window wall. So I know what it is, okay? So anyway, there's the shot. Notice now here we have a huge reflection, okay? So there's a gloss finish on this, so we need to do something about that. Okay, so... Uh, let's just come back to level one. It's much easier. I'm going to select this and I'm going to edit type again, like before. Edit. We got to really dig deep, folks. We got to come down in here, wood floor. Click on it one more time. Wait for the pop up. 
sweet go to appearance and notice something here very very important finish semi gloss okay so you can do this with furniture walls materials I don't care what if they design it that way we may have the option of changing it so here we go it's, so, it's set to semi gloss which will be very reflective so I want to go to unfinished which is kind of raw okay cool apply done 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 so there it is done all right cool and apply of course and okay a million times later we're done Another thing I noticed, I want to I want to just try something. Uh, if I can actually change the bump map on this, I'm just going to come in here, edit, go to stone, click once, wait for the little button to pop up. Appearance. Now unfinished is fine. I wonder where these guys in Revit have the bump mapping. Uh, physical, Autodesk, Thermal. No, I don't think so. Graphics. Nope. Usually when we in 3ds Max and Maya, if I if I add a bump map on this. Okay, image is fine. Yeah, leave it unfinished. It's gotta be. Oh, here we go. Finished bumps, Balian. There it is. So, let's let's crank this up a bit. I'm just playing here for the first time, guys. Trying to explore. How about point one? I'm not seeing a difference, but uh, go to one. Okay, that that looks a little better. So let's see if that works. Apply. Okay, and a million OKs later, applies and OKs. Let's take a new shot, okay? Okay, level one. I just want to make a new camera here and take a new shot. Click, boom, and I'll pause in a second and get back to you guys. Uh, change this to. I'm just going to run it at medium this time. Actually, I'm going to run it on. Yeah, medium's fine. Make sure we have sun and artificial on. Render. And. Where's my icon here? There it is. All right, pause. I'll be back. So okay, I'm back, and you can see right now compared to the last one, this looks a lot better. The wall me feels like it's more tactile. There's stronger texture to it. Yeah, it's coming off a lot better. So what I'm going to do is just save this to project and corner wall again. Better or better better shot, but you know what I mean. I should do something about this, but and there it is. Let me just take a peek here. I'll close this off and. Um, We'll take a look over here. I did an earlier corner, corner shot. I'm looking here, and in this situation, this is somewhat textured, and there's the reflection. Let's look at the better one. No reflection, and this is more bumpier. Okay, so that method actually worked. Pretty cool. Thank you. All right, I think this is pretty good for this tutorial. It's under eight minutes. Thank you very much. Bounding out. Enjoy.